Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Dig or Die. It's a... I'm gonna put it in the same category as Terraria, but I'm not sure, sure if there's actually any differences. We'll see. Anyway, so I'm just gonna play on normal. Sorry, I meant hard. Rename the game to Dig and Die. Brutal, forget it. I kind of want to just put it on hard mode for a little bit. We'll give it a go. Let's let, let's see how hard mode is, and if it's infuriating, then I'll switch away. Normally, I'm kind of a normal difficulty guy. But I'm curious how this is going to go. Oh, we look like some shell-shocked individual. What can I... Okay, no, I gotta go. I gotta go back. Male. Why do males look horror-y? Uh, skin tone. Okay, so we want to be a pale dude that looks like he's been through some shit. They're all anime hair. Hair color. Well, clearly hot pink. No. White, white was perfect. He has to look insane. Um. Alright, this is fine. Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me if going hard mode was a bad move. I guess we'll find out pretty quick. You're a representative of Craftco. You're selling automated fabrication tools across the galaxy until the day you crash on a dangerous wild planet. Okay, that is still pretty loud. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so wake up, Captain. I don't want to stay in this wreckage forever. Don't worry about me just yet. Worry about staying alive. Planet's data is in my files. The life forms here get particularly aggressive at night if you disturb them. And I think we crash landed on top of something. I can detect some dead corpses under the wreckage. It's too late to play the peaceful ambassador. Okay, hard mode was a bad idea. All right. Well, in that case, let's go straight up to the main menu and quickly toss ourselves on. Actually, yeah, let's let's try easy. It would be nice if you could actually change the difficulty in the middle of it. Unless maybe you can. I, I truly have no idea. Yeah, this game can get difficult at times. I just liked the rename the game to Dig and Die. But yeah, let's let's just go easy. Same character. Perfect. Oh, good. And we've got our all of this. Okay, so I've got a gun. Is this a gun? What is this? Miniaturizer. Extracts, removes, and miniaturizes objects and blocks. Ease of transportation. Right click to extract. No need to select it. Left click to repair when needed. Plasma rifle. Auto builder. Flashlight. And there we go. Okay, so can I just... Absorb things into my gun? Looks like that's the case. It'll be too easy on easy. Well, to some degree, I do kind of actually prefer to game uh, play games on easier difficulties. The harder a game is, the less likely I'm going to be able to finish it. Um, looking at you... Looking at you... Uh, can I not pick this guy up? I guess you can't loot monsters after you killed them. That's interesting and unfortunate. Um, but, like, Darkest Dungeon uh, Cultist Simulator, most recently, was, like, the one that I straight up, like, couldn't beat. At least, like, uh... At least with, uh... A Darkest Dungeon, it's more of just kind of a long grind. Um, but, uh... I, like... I tried... Oof, that's that's some water. That's a lot of water. Does everything fill up? Everything does fill up. Does the world flood? Can the world flood? It feels like it totally can. I wonder as a vacuum. I... Look, I'm just Luigi in my early years. Well, the, uh, the combat's pretty easy. Honestly, this reminds me of, uh... Uh, It Lurks Below, I believe was the game. Uh, wow, yeah, this really does remind me of, like, a more advanced version of It Lurks Below. Oh, but they will... They will heal. Okay, so I'm just gonna give up on trying to get past the fish. Okay, so my miniaturizer uh, is not good enough to take out that. That's just an aquatic dog over there. And it does look like the water levels out after a while. Maybe? No, it looks like it's gained a little bit more. It's all probably just flowing downhill. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Luigi must have went through a phase if he looked like that. 
hey, I mean, who knows? It's not like any of the games ever bothered to show off his side of life, and when they do, it's not exactly, um, flattering. I do really like the Luigi's Mansion games. I would love it if they, uh, if they re-released, like, HD Luigi's Mansion from the GameCube. Um, plus, like, uh, the 3DS game on Steam someday. Or not Steam, uh, on the Switch. I really liked, uh, Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS. It was, like, one of the first games. I think it was actually the first game I got for the 3DS, and it was really fun to play. Okay, so we're probably going to regret things tonight, but that's okay. No, I assume this game doesn't have permadeath. Because that would be unfortunate and obnoxious. Does the world wrap around? Is this like Terraria? Oh, it's not dead. Oh, it's because it was a it was a boss monster. Uh, does the world wrap around, or do we just have this, like, inescapable wall to go past? There's a rumor of a GameCube Mini. Yeah, I saw that rumor. They filed the trademark. Which sound sounded interesting? I don't know. No, it looks like this is just a tall-ass mountain. We wonder didn't see the cat. I'm not paying full attention, I'm just kind of wandering around right now. Okay, let's do this. So, game objective, build a rocket so you can escape the planet. Short-term goal, survive the night. Uh, attacks multiple groups of monsters every night, building defenses, anti to jump, quick save and- Oh, we have a quick save and a quick load. Looks like I'm in the wrong side of town for this. Huh. I might be in trouble? No, we're good. Okay, cool. Oh, not you. Okay. I was afraid that I was somehow missing things. Alright, I'm gonna escape, because I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage here. These guys are painful, and I want nothing to do with it. Okay, don't think it wraps. From what you remember. I'm just gonna head this way, avoid the dogs, avoid the everything. It doesn't look like there's any kind of EXP system, so I don't have to worry about that. Though, I do kind of prefer these games with an EXP system, just because, man, it made uh, that modded series of Terraria much more enjoyable as far as I was concerned. Why is this fish so beefy? I don't know, whatever. Okay. Hey look, Tigger Tide, it's been a while since I've seen this game. Yeah, I should probably mention this. So I was given I was given this for free, obviously. Um But uh the developers are are kind of doing like a PR thing because this game's full version comes out in a week. So if any of you guys are uh if any of you guys are interested in this game, uh already own it or interested in picking it up. There will be a, uh, well, I mean, the game comes out, so I don't know. If you are interested in, uh, picking it up, this would be the time. I don't know if it's on sale on Steam right now. I assume they did that early access thing where it's like... Uh, early access thing where, uh, you know, it's full price. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so what can we, what can we make? So, we can make a, a better uh, crafting thing. So, Auto Builder Mark III. We've already made that. Or Mark III, Mark II. Uh, let's see. Plasma Shotgun. We need iron. But I can't get that. Can I upgrade? Yes. I can upgrade this sucker. So, we can go grab iron next. Well, we want to make a bunch of uh, mounted guns. Devices. Weapons. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave. Can I, can I actually just pick this one back up? Perfect. Yeah, so whatever you kill, it will hunt you down during nighttime. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. Can I put these materials down? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to hollow out this area. 
I'm just gonna live underneath my cra- uh, my crash zone. Oh! Never mind, I'm not gonna live there necessarily. Or... Yeah, can I put blocks down? We have material stone. Can I- can I just put this down wherever? No. Okay, so I'm- I'm gonna have to actually fabricate, uh, some kind of structure here. I'll put my crafting table down and we're gonna go- go for some iron. Maybe I can get some, like, ladders or whatnot down. It looks like these things have a serious hit on for where I am. And they're just going to wreck their way to it. Which is gonna suck. Oh. It's almost nighttime. Okay, what can I get down quickly? I need one more iron. Okay, we have a bunch of iron over here. Well, I can only get a little bit. I need a better gun. Hopefully the first night isn't so bad. Ah, God damn it. The platforming is so frenetic compared to what I'm used to. Okay, uh, let's see, guns. Can I upgrade? There we go. So we've we've got a shotgun now. Probably want to make our way up to this. Can I drag that over there? Perfect. Oh, that's quite the shotgun. Okay, you cannot save during night. Hold out till dawn. Well, instead of them wrecking my base, oh. Okay, I'm actually going to make my escape downwards. For a second. Main problem is I can't, uh, oof, these are all the angry ones too. Uh, I can't, like, stay in one spot because I'm going to get gonna get ganked if I'm in there. I need I need an arena an arena to move around. They're currently in my house. Actually being underwater might might be kind of ideal here. I have to worry about drowning a little bit. But a lot of the fishies can't uh can't follow me. Alright. Welcome to Battle Lake. Population me and all of my foes. Okay. So it looks like because I killed so many flies, the flies are going to be after me pri primarily. Nothing else. Oh god. I've pissed off the horde. I get hit by that. I'm... I'm done. I'm very glad I upgraded this... this shotgun. I don't know if the fish will get super pissed at me, to be totally honest. Yeah, so about that easy mode. I am very glad I was not on hard mode. That would have sucked. That would have been bad. This guy's just been here, wrecking what little, I guess, not base I have. Guess I should have picked up my, um... There's somebody else over there, but I don't think I can get to it. Luckily, I got the firepower that I can kind of mow down a lot of this. I can go for the uh, piranha critters anyway. Oh, the dog's cannon will drown. I think. I'm not entire cl entirely clear on that. We should probably save. There we go. Okay, so I gotta find, uh... 
I gotta find some stuff. Honestly, what we should probably do is go back, see what I can make with what resources I've I've just received. And then maybe see about digging. Unfortunately, the whole world is just kind of flooded on me. Yeah, they just destroyed this area. Alright, what can I make? Platforms. So, we can make, um... Oh! So, wooden wall. Resistance, 2,500. Weight, pretty heavy. Concrete. Supports only itself prevents monsters to spawn. Support you can move through. Hmm. I see, so it prevents wanders from... Spawning. I'm probably going to make a bunch of wooden platforms, at least initially. And some concrete walls, I think. We need more stone. I guess I'll do some wood for a while, too. Really? Let's pick this up. I'm just going to go on an adventure. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this without drowning? There's got to be a way to get down where there isn't water. Or is the whole world just functionally flooded for me and I'm just I'm just stuck in water world? Oh, you can you can boost jump with guns. That's cool. Okay, so th this this place looks significantly drier than the the lake that I'm trying to be in. Oh, right, there's like sky islands and stuff. I totally forgot about that. Um Everything's flooding again. Let's keep going to the left. Let's just go down here before everything floods. I'm not sure where this fish came from. But yeah, I guess if I just live underground, I'll just live underground. Who knows who who knows what's down here? So apparently this game's actually not that long. Like, you can beat it within a couple hours. I guess it didn't seem like there was that uh deep of a It didn't seem like there was that deep of a crafting tree compared to uh some other games. It looks dry. Instant rain. I'm a cursed existence. I, I'm well aware of it. Okay. So yeah, let's just grab whatever iron we can. I'd like to put out, put down some of my own guns. But that'll be later. Okay, so what can I do? Can I upgrade this thing again? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, what do we have? Min mini mapper. Neat. We gotta find bat sonar. So we gotta find some bats. And we gotta get some dweller shells. To get armor. Uh, let's see. And I also need coal. For the rest of this. I assume the tech tree gets significantly, um... Yeah, here we are. Mark 2. So we can make lamps. And auto builder mark 3. And, oh. We can make a ton of iron out of the uh, scrap metal. So I'm a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more loaded on that than I thought. We want to find some dwellers. Low. Probably not this way, though. It's underneath the lake. I know there's some iron over there, but we're looking for... We're looking for coal. This shotgun makes such a massive difference. It's insane. I guess I should probably go down down here first. Clear all of it out. Good to go. Hello, are you a you are a dweller? I would this would be an interesting game to watch uh, a speed run of. 
I wonder how fast you could do it. I know, like, uh, there are Terraria speedruns and so on and so forth. And I've mentioned that I'd love to see a speedrun of that as well. I don't know. It's in it's interesting. This is something that usually crops up for me around uh, SGDQ or AD AGDQ. I'm like, yeah, I would actually love to see, like, uh, somebody attempt speedrunning these games just to see, like, what kind of insane uh, tricks must be done. I'm going to get dog dropped here. Luckily, the shotgun is insanely good, and everything's flooding again. Son of a... You can tell it's raining, because I start drowning. This whole world is going to... This whole world is going to flood on me. Just... Just saying. Like, that's... That's the end... End reality. Oh. Hopefully I can get that minigun at some point. That'll that'll be a tremendous help. I'm actually kind of curious if the world eventually just floods and you have to like you truly have to go underwater. I'd actually be totally fine with that. Kind of like a, a side scrolling version of Subnautica, but like the world is flooding further and further. So like you start with a couple of islands and eventually like you really really have to like uh, be prepared to start diving and, like, dealing with the underwater stuff. Uh, because whatever amount of land is left kind of disappears. That'd be really cool. I would love to play that. At some point, I'd like to actually uh, sit down and play uh, through the full version of Subnautica. But honestly, I might do that in preparation for the uh, expansion that they've uh, they've got planned. It was a 90-minute speed run of Terraria. Wow, incredible! I mean, I guess honestly, you just need to know exactly how to binge through like several of the bosses and like get the most powerful gear, and you could probably do it pretty quick. Whoa, that's a bunch of enemies. Okay, somebody needs somebody needs a murdernatin. Look at this. Look at this. They're all just piling up here. I like the soundtrack. If you like games like this, um obviously dig or die. I mentioned it lurks below. Uh there's also Kriya. Which, honestly, I'd actually almost say Korea is kind of similar to this in a lot of ways. Uh, just the uh, enemy combat whatever situation. Okay. Seven. But I rather enjoyed Kriya when I played it. It's also one of those where it's, um... Uh, let's see, it's also one of those where it's a, um... A, a game... Sorry. Uh, Kriya was kind of a fun game because it's made by, like, two people. I don't know. I always love it when it's, um... When it's, like, a, a small team of developers. Okay, can I... Can I repair? Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna have a lot of these flies attacking. I don't know if they'll shoot up, but at least this will cover... a section of where I am and what I'm doing. I probably should have saved before this. I don't actually remember my last save file. So being underground was not actually nearly as good of an idea as I hoped it would be. And I'm dead. F8 to reload your last save. Oh god, where is that? Oh god, it's here. Oh god, why? 
Oh, God, that sucks. Hey, you know when my last save was? Freaking long time ago. I'm, I'm not used to this whole, like, save thing. Okay. I'll be fine. I've learned. It's just a whole day lost because I wasn't hitting the um, quick save button. Then again, like, being underground like that was kind of rough. That yeah, should save every morning. Well, that's good at least. Okay. So hopefully it won't immediately start raining on me again. Oh, these are, uh, this is scrap metal. Well, the more iron I can get, the better. We want to go find some dwellers down here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna beeline down. Instead of wasting too much time going for iron, because it turns out we have a ton of iron, we just didn't realize it. Wow, got lucky on that one. I guess we'll grab this iron. Cause we will need iron. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of it pretty quick. Yeah, those flies get aggressive. I guess let's quick save seeing as we're here. I want to find some coal. The minigun is pretty good. The shotgun is actually equally good in a lot of ways. I feel like the minigun was significantly more powerful. I need armor, too. That's why I need to find the, the dwellers. I think there's a dweller over here. Yeah, there they are. Okay, we have one Dweller Shell. I need a lot more than that. And yeah, keep an eye out for coal for me. Because we had a... we found a whole vein earlier. Yeah, probably what I should do is save... Uh, I mean, obviously, frequently. Maybe put down some concrete walls and stuff so they can't just get at me, too. Okay, so let's let's just go down here. There's not a whole lot of water. And hopefully I'll just be able to find some coal at some point. Or just hit the dirt layer again and just start zipping back down. I should probably get some air. There we go. I wonder if you get uh if you get access to I wonder if you get access to uh what am I thinking? Um, like diving equipment at some point. Probably not. I don't think this game has terribly dedicated uh, underwater. It just has a lot of water. But who knows? We'll just have to keep upgrading. And hoping. Because yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely on a lower layer. Probably quick save again. Still no coal though. I can probably make do without, but if I can get my hands on just, a, just like 10 pieces, we'll be in a good spot. Nothing. And how much, uh, how many denizen shells do we have? Okay, so we have three, so I can actually make the first set of armor, which I'm assuming is probably... Like, I can probably get by with the shotgun, but hopefully, um, hopefully having armor will boost survivability enough. What is that? That's, is that iron? Nope. Too resistant to my mini miniaturizer. Okay, so there's, there's more resource types down here. Fortunately, now I'm stuck in the hole. Probably should have thought about that a little bit, but whatever. So we don't want to go down any, any further layers if we can avoid it. 
You know, that's one alternative. Just, uh, just live so deep that nothing can come close to me. Just, like, bury myself and just be like, You can't find me. I am in unfindable. Dang. And not... Not an ounce of coal. Oh, more denizens at the very least. I think we've been through this tunnel, but that's fine. I'm gonna go the opposite direction this time. <laughs> 